We're getting to it. He's going to a, a chicken farm. All right, gotta roll. So, Bubba's gonna get on the trailer. All right, that was not bad. That actually came out okay. Run a little bit here. Why are we doing this? Hood clearance. Because the hood is what? Not an aftermarket smorgasbord of non-fitting parrots. So I have to elongate the slot straight to an inch on all the way around. So it's going to give me more play in the in the actual uh, adjustment of the hood. It actually wasn't too bad. It's just this corner was pinched. Passing this side. <laughs> up there. I fucking had a hard time myself. Yeah. 
little dimple is still a little past it. I thought I got it. It's all right. I'm using Linco Supreme. Like I say, it's the paint I use. Some people say it's good. I've had good luck with it. Some people say you always had good luck with it. I've had good luck with it. Some people say dog ass. So, you know, but it seems to be works with me. I'm uh, comfortable with it. Again, black is a beautiful, it's a very dangerous color. <laughs> oh boy. I got finally humble. Hey guys, I'm simply going to use a hot and clear for an intercoat. I'm going to put two coats on the black and seal it for tonight. Tomorrow should be good enough. We're going to lightly scuff it and then we're going to start laying out the flame pattern, uh, which is going to be fun. Then I'm going to uh, get the silver base, spray the base, mix up some candy, spray it on top, and then, I mean, I'm just going to slam clear on it as much as I can. Build that up, get that those proud edges buried. So right now this is just essentially an intercoat clear. It's actually a regular clear, but I'm using it as an intercoat, so we're going to go with that. And that's my uh, story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. All right. So we got two coats clear on. I want to call this into coat clear. I'm actually going to come back and scuff it with 800. We're going to do the flames. Um. Like I said, body work came out okay. Some suspect spots, which pissed me off beyond. I don't know. Um. The rear quarters that I skinned surprisingly came out good and the door panels that I skinned, one came out good, the other one, I was too focused on one dent, I didn't see the other, even with the guide coat for some reason, I didn't see that dent, I don't know if you can see it. So that's that, it's sealed, it's protected, um, laid down nice and flat, very happy with the way this clay laid down. And uh, so now it's just a matter of letting the cure up. We're going to scuff it with 800. Um, mainly 
on the spots where the flames go. Then the whole thing over. And then I'm just going to bury the crap out of it and clear. And we'll call the paint job done for now. And then we'll start progressing with other things like putting them back together. Getting interior stuff done and uh, trim fiddly bits and stuff like that. But other than that, came out nice. Was really pleased with it. I say, it's good to have people in high places. What are you looking around for? You. You helped me out a lot on this, man. Help me along. So, uh, stay tuned for uh, Candy Flames. I'm going to try to get this thing uh, looking nasty. Alright, guys. See you, uh, I don't know, maybe the next clip. Alright, peace. Alright, um, this is two days after clearing it. And as you can see, everything held together. Two coats of clear. Still looks good. Um, bumps are what they are. Now we're cutting it with 800. So we're getting a 800 scratch on this whole vehicle. So I can apply the flames over this scuffed up coat. And uh, I'm going to base it with silver, candy it with green. Um, I might do true fire in the candy flame, I just might just leave it candy. So, um, to this point, this is all down. It's actually blocking out nice, there's really not much orange peel in it. Um, it really came out pretty nice, I was surprised. Um, I really am surprised, Joe. But it's looking good, so we're at that point. Um, it's going to work our way back. Rinse down the car and then design a flame pattern akin to that's the good Mark Camaro, so I kind of like that look. He kind of did his Trans Am the same way. And I'm going to go almost the same route. So, uh, bring you back when we got it all down and washed down and wiped down. We'll start doing the pattern and uh, get the pounce wheel out and start making a, a pattern. All right, see you in a bit. All right, the only thing I succeeded at is taking a good paint job and making it bad. We're all down to 800. Um, I'm not too worried about stuff like that. With my finger, all right, higher. Yeah, and stuff like this. Um, we're gonna rinse down the car, wash it all down, uh, wax and grease remover, get it all nice and clean, and then we're gonna start laying out the flames. Um, and I think the the second and third and final coat of clear on top of this is really going to lay down nice and I got a good base. So that's all done and hopefully this will come out the way I envisioned it because it gets really expensive when you're trying to practice stuff like this and going back and redoing it. So I think we got it. I think I got it. I got it. I think I got the uh, I got a handle on it. So, Bubba was nice looking, now he ain't so nice looking now. But, I think he'll be nice looking again soon. So, that's that. See, as you can see, a very fine film of orange. I mean, I don't want to go too smooth. You know, but I sanded the primer up to a 600 grit before I laid down the base and clear. Uh, and that sat pretty flat. So, even with this now, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be all right. It'll be a really nice deep uh, paint job. All right, guys. So I'm going to wash this down. That's this part of it. And the next little video clip will probably be I was trying to lay out flames, which is going to be pretty fun. So 